might sneak back to the right, mightn't it? It could. Tension filled moments. Oh, goodness. Well, somehow this hole has the same score between the two players. It would be a minor miracle to go to the next one. Just to win now for Tiger. Tiger's been doing to golfers now for years. Watch this reaction. Goes down, down. <laughs> Rocco saying, is it going to go? Is it going to go? That's a great shot right there, isn't it? <laughs> That's Rocco and his caddy, Matt Ackett. He's still got another putt, Rocco. Lily said at the start of the day, I cannot believe that I'm in position. I have a chance to win the U.S. Open Championship. And you know, Murph, running through his mind, we've talked about it all week long. He, in most likelihood, will never get another chance like this. He might, but in this arena with Tiger Woods, probably not. It's a slow putt. Got to get it there, Rocco, for the United States Open. You got to get it there. This to stay alive in sudden death. And in one of the most remarkable performances of his career, Tiger Woods perseveres through Torrey Pines and wins a third U.S. Open championship. Two good buds there. Fourteen majors now for Tiger. Didn't look like he was going to win 45 minutes ago. The record is perfect. 14 of 14 when having at least to share the 54 hole lead. He had to go a little extra this time. But we watched more vintage Tiger Woods this week. Putts by the bucket full. Eagles. Grimacing. Grimacing, obviously in pain. Does this man love Torrey Pines or what? That's two wins here this year, and of course this one way bigger than the first. And the first player to ever win on the same golf course seven times. Let's get down to Mark Rolfing. Rocco, when you look back on today, what do you think you'll remember most about it? Hanging in there with this man. He's so hard to beat, obviously. I don't, when I throw three at him, he throws that little 300 mil of the green. He he's unreal, but um, I I I'm fairly, I mean, obviously I would love to have won. And um, I, I don't know what else to say. It was, it was a great, it was a great day. I, they wanted to show they got one. I mean, I, three down through 10, I thought it was going to be over quick, and I just kept hanging a bang. 19 holes. Everywhere you walk today, you heard Rocco, Rocco, Rocco. How does that make you feel? It's unbelievable. I mean, they were just doing it now. And, um, yeah, it's, this is huge for me. This is, a, this is uh, the putt I made on 18 just to stay here again. I, I, I handled it. Uh, I was nervous as a cat, but I handled it. So and who knows? Maybe next time I'll go one better. Did it ever cross your mind at all that you might not have another chance like this? 18 holes with Tiger, yeah, oh, Monday sure. playoff. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, you know, I had the putt I had on 18. I just said to myself, you waited your whole life for it. Don't lag it. You know, just give it speed. And I just yanked it a touch. A little nervy. But, um, 
I, I really can't really complain. I, I, I did the best I could. You didn't win the U.S. Open, but what will this week do for your career? Um, hopefully I, I get to play in it again and a few other things. And um, it just showed me that I still can compete, obviously, and I, I want to keep competing. Is that the most important thing you learned about yourself? Hold up. Hold up. I just don't, I never quit. I never quit, and I, I've been beaten down a few times and came back, and, and um, I got I got what I wanted. I got a chance to, to be the, the best player in the world, and I, I came up a, just a touch short, but I, I think I had him a little scared at once, which was great. He just said, great fight to me, and that means the world right, right there. Congratulations, Rocco. Thank you. Dan? Well, here's what it means for his world ranking, Mark. He jumps 111 spots in those world rankings into the 47th spot. But that doesn't matter too much to Rocco. He wanted so desperately to win his favorite championship. And in the end, he succumbs to what everybody else has through the years. The greatest force to ever play this game. Tiger Woods keeps racking him up. 14 major titles. And now just the sixth player to win more than two U.S. Opens. And his wife, Elon, congratulated him. His uh, agent, Mark Steinberg. Camp Woods has had so much success that we're going to hear from Tiger when we present him the trophy in just a moment. The king of Tory, Tiger Woods, making his way up for another look. Stevie's got the trophy there. Holds on to it for just a few seconds. Incredible dominance continues on this golf course and incredible dominance in major championships. And there is little Sam Alexis, who will turn one in a couple of days. On Wednesday, the day after Father's Day, the first Father's Day that uh, Tigers enjoyed being a, a dad. And there is his mom, Coltita. The closest major championship that Tigers won to his hometown of Cypress, California. Winning his third U.S. Open in his home state. Little Sam's been dragging around some cut down clubs. Born the day after last year's final round when Tiger was battling uh, to get into it at Oakmont. Hank Caney there. His swing coach. I think that's why winning here at Torrey Pines is going to be right at the top of the list of all the great memories he's had because of all the family and the local flavor growing up here in Southern Cal. It's, uh, and the fact that he was up against the wall. Uh, Rocco put him up against the wall and said, I got gotcha. you. And he said, not quite yet. Tiger's so proud of her. He's, yeah, it's little Sam wants daddy. Come on, Tiger, take her out there. Maybe he'll take her out to the presentation. Tiger, in the past, has always kind of had Elon and Sam on the perimeter of the green. But little Sam wants to be right out there. He's got to go to the binky here. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's a nice okay, scene, bye -bye, isn't it? Tory Pines has been Tiger's binky. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so dominant here. Safe haven for him. <laughs> It'll be interesting to hear what Tiger says as far as where this major championship ranks being in his hometown here and getting through the third surgery on that knee. There were times during this championship not a lot of people thought it might happen. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jim Vernon, President of the United States Golf Association. How about that? Please join me in welcoming our 108th U.S. Open champion, Tiger Woods.